Another atheist dogma demolished by astronomical discoveries in the 20th century is the idea of the accidental universe. The claim that the matter in the universe, the heavenly bodies, and the laws that regulate them emerged by chance with no purpose behind them has collapsed in a most striking manner. It was in the 1970s that scientists first realized that all the physical balances in the universe had been set up in a most sensitive manner so as to permit human life. As research deepened, it was found that the physical, chemical and biological laws in the universe, fundamental forces such as gravity and electromagnetism, and the structure of the elements had all been set up in the most ideal form for human life. Let us now consider a few examples of this. There is an extraordinarily sensitive balance in the initial expansion rate of the universe, that is, in the explosion force of the Big Bang. According to scientists' calculations, if the expansion rate had differed from its actual value by more than one part in a billion billion, then the universe would either have recollapsed before it ever reached its present size, or else have splattered in every direction in a way never to unite again. To put it another way, even at the first moment of the universe's existence, there was a fine calculation of the accuracy of a billion billion. That, of course, is no coincidence. Physical forces such as gravity and electromagnetism are all at the necessary levels for an ordered universe to emerge and for life to exist. Even the tiniest variations in these forces, for instance differences of just one part in a billion, 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 would have meant that the universe would be nothing more than a cloud of radiation or hydrogen. In that event, our solar system, the planets, and our Earth would not have come into being. As with every detail in the universe, our own solar system has been created within a most delicate balance. The size of the sun, the wavelength of its rays, and its distance from the earth are all at the levels necessary to support human life. Even the slightest deviation from these could destroy life on earth at a stroke. The way that the earth's atmosphere contains the gases necessary to allow respiration, or that the earth's magnetic field is ideally suited to human life, are just two examples of such important delicate balances. The water that covers three quarters of our planet also contains features designed to support human life. Unlike other liquids, water freezes from the top down. That prevents the seas from turning into blocks of ice and allows life to continue. The viscosity of water and its other physical and chemical properties are all at the ideal levels for supporting life. These delicate balances, of which we have seen a few examples, have led scientists to one important conclusion. There is an anthropic principle in the universe, as they describe it. In other words, every detail in the universe has been designed to make human life possible.
The interesting thing here is that most of the scientists who revealed that truth were actually materialists who had no great wish to reach such a conclusion. In his book, The Symbiotic Universe, the American astronomer George Greenstein admits the fact in these words. As we survey all the evidence, the thought insistently arises that some supernatural agency must be involved. Is it possible that suddenly, without intending to, we have stumbled upon scientific proof of the existence of a supreme being? In his 1998 book, Nature's Destiny, How the Laws of Biology Reveal Purpose in the Universe, the well-known molecular biologist Michael Denton makes the following comment. The new picture that has emerged in 20th century astronomy presents a dramatic challenge to the presumption which has been prevalent within scientific circles during most of the past four centuries that life is a peripheral and purely contingent phenomenon in the cosmic scheme. In short, the concept of the accidental universe, perhaps the fundamental basis of atheism, has been totally collapsed. The deceptive nature of the concept was revealed in the Quran some 1,400 years ago. We did not create heaven and earth and everything between them to no purpose. That is the opinion of those who disbelieve.